Boom shakalaka, the one and only indicator you need for trading Bitcoin. Stay tuned. What's up, everyone? Randall here from CryptoLift. Today's video, a lot of very interesting charts for Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies, including the one and only indicator you need for Bitcoin. Before we get into it, guys, make sure to like, subscribe, click the notification bell, come join us on Twitter, the Crypto Love, push that like button. Now, today, fear and greed dropping down into fear at 45 down from yesterday's neutral 47. The overall market down almost 1%. Bitcoin at 26,745. Ethereum at 1554. BNB at 204. XRP 47 cents. Solana 21 dollars. Cardano 24 cents. Dogecoin 5 cents. And Tron 8 cents. And Bitcoin after the death cross of the 100 and 200 day moving average, price crashed pretty dramatically since that occurred. As a matter of fact, falling below this trend line we were in since mid-September, all the way down to the 50-day moving average, this yellow line right here. Should this not hold, the next likely support would be the multi-month long trend support right now at 25.8. Now, was this a surprise? Not really. We can see a couple days ago, there was a chart like this where Mustache was saying, hey, wouldn't panic if something like this happened, a dip a fake out before rising because as you can see here there is an increasing RSI and this wedge formation right here wouldn't be surprised if there's a fake out before taking off to levels higher and that's what we're seeing right now but where Bitcoin is right now based on this warm supply realized prices yellow line right here it would suggest that the Bitcoin does that the Bitcoin needs to close above 28,233 before reigniting the bull run. If we take a look at the Gaussian channels, every time historically the Gaussian channel has flipped from red to green, well, we have had the start of a new bull cycle. Back in 2016, went up over 5,800%. In 2019, went up 800%. How much this time? 3%, something like that. Now, Bitcoin is just facing some trend line resistance. No surprise here. There's the first pump, there's the sideways, and then there's the breakout phase. Well, we had the first pump from the lows around 15 all the way up to 31. Now we're in that sideways portion, and we're going to continue in this sideways portion until it gets squeezed between this trend line and the sideways price movement, and then eventually break out and heading up towards clear territory for Bitcoin. Bitcoin has dropped uh, from the institutional bias Right now, this deviation historically was impulsive rallies. Generally, when it retests this all the way up, we can see some deviations back here in 2019 where it did break below, did not retest there. So we'll kind of have to see how this one turns out. But turns out the parabolic rallies of Bitcoin could brew itself by a drop below the support line. We can see here where support on this line and then drop below and then rally up. Same thing, dropping below, rally up. It, over and over again, it's happened multiple times where it's had support, drops below support, and then rallies up. Well, we've had support on this line for a while. Dropping below, could this be preceding the rally up? Everybody has their fingers crossed, I'm sure. But check out this one chart. The only chart that you need for Bitcoin based on the RSI, the RSI color indicator, a simple color-coded RSI indicator based on weekly RSI, Bitcoin cycles are so repetitive, this indicator shows some impressive results. So when it's green, clearly, you buy. The buy cycle's over. But we are in the sideways megaphone hodl phase until breakout. Next step, $48,000 for Bitcoin. Because it turns out that we can kind of just see the halving cycles theory, where we can see the tops and the bottoms on average, plus or minus 21 days from November 28th, and the early tops... Average plus or minus 21 days from July 9th. Well, based on this, we would have the next areas for the tops and the average prices that these could potentially be. Now, if you can see right here, next top would be July 9th, roughly 2024. Estimated price 42 to $48,000. So that is roughly about seven, eight months from now, close to a $50,000 Bitcoin. And then the major top for Bitcoin roughly around November 28th of 2025, roughly 90 to $130,000. Now that would be if Bitcoin just maintains its current trajectories, repeating history, things could always change for Bitcoin. But a brief reminder, this could be your last chance to buy Bitcoin below 
its two-year moving average. You can see the two-year moving average trending down. Eventually, if Bitcoin keeps going sideways, the two-year moving average will dip below Bitcoin price. And just a reminder, when Bitcoin was below the two-year moving average, in 2011, it was a $2 Bitcoin. In 2015, it was a $200 Bitcoin. In 2018, it was a $3,000 Bitcoin. In 2020, it was a $4,000 Bitcoin. And in 2023, a $20,000 Bitcoin. And I can tell you, I wasn't in Bitcoin all the way back here. But during these times, 2018, 2020, nobody wanted Bitcoin right then. Kind of similar to what's going on right now. Everybody is just not that fond of it right now. If you consider that with what was going on right here when it was close to the two-year moving average times five, everybody wanted in. Everybody knew this was the future. Everybody knew it was going to hundreds of thousands of dollars. Right now, people are very unsure, but this is the opportunity when you want to buy. So that's all for today's episode. If you enjoyed it, push the like button. I'll catch you guys later. Have a good one. Love you. If you don't think Bitcoin's going to a million dollars a coin and then $10 million a coin, you're already a loser. From now on, if you don't own Bitcoin, you're a moron.